chief petty officer selectees from around the fleet gathered in Charlestown, Massachusetts to live and train like 19th century sailors on board USS Constitution as part of Chief Petty Officer Heritage Week 2012. We are in our 15th year of doing annual CPO heritage training with 150, but we usually do 130 to 150 Chief Select Petty Officers. I also bring in 20 mentor chiefs to assist because of my small amount of Chief Petty Officer I, I have on board. The Chief Select Petty Officers get one week of 19th century seamanship training where we teach them boarding pike and gun drills. We teach them how to uh, climb the rigging. They are taught how to handle the lines. My crew members are the ones who are required to give that training. So our Chief Selects and our mentor chiefs really understand that you don't have to be the senior person being that leader or that trainer. The individuals are those who have the knowledge. It's important for them to give them a broader view of going back to the roots, going back to the history of the Navy, to coming on board Constitution, the oldest warship still floating, in the, getting the knowledge, getting the chance to actually get aboard and do those things, to find out how it is to be a sailor uh, back in the 1800s. Everything requires teamwork, from, like I said, from firing guns to even hoisting any lines. It all requires teamwork. And our marching, everything requires teamwork, which is something that you need in the mess. The training runs through August 25th and is designed to instill pride in naval heritage in the Navy's senior enlisted leaders. From Boston, I'm Petty Officer Amara Timberlake.